What I've done is provide a shared language. I borrowed language from the mental health community. Uh, the research on attachment disruption, attachment disorder. And I borrowed the wisdom of the codependency and recovery community to talk about codependency. And my goal is for them to see, both communities to see that they actually share the same perspective. Attachment disorder is codependency, okay? And in fact, codependency is the result of attachment disorder. And my goal is for us to recognize that we're on the same team. We're on the same path, okay? And traditionally, there's been a lot of bias. You know, the mental health community has not recognized some of the recovering community issues, like codependency. And the recovering community is not aware, often, of the theoretical language and perspective of the mental health community. And what I'm hoping to do, and I think have done, is provide a shared language to combine those things, bridge those two, so that we can have a dialogue recognizing that we're both coming to the same table, okay? And then we've got twice the resources, twice the opportunity to address this incredibly important issue, okay? And ultimately, addressing this issue from both of these perspectives in a shared manner will save people's lives because this disorder kills people. And it's not just a simple matter of self-esteem and I don't, I'm too nice, okay? The codependency that results from attachment disruption creates enormous amount of physical damage. And it's up to us to do something um, decisive about it. And so we need each other to make that happen.